You know, for decades, a diagnosis of cancer has meant treatment with chemotherapy, which can cause so many debilitating side effects. In today's HealthCast, we examine how more patients are being spared chemo in favor of less toxic options. As a mammography technician, Jennifer Sternberg is no stranger to breast cancer. She just never imagined she'd be facing the disease at the age of 35. I thought I felt something underneath my breast in the shower, a lump, and um, I got an order from my doctor to go and have a mammogram done. Jennifer was diagnosed with early stage breast cancer. When I first started practice as a breast cancer physician, almost everybody with early stage breast cancer got chemotherapy. But we knew that the vast majority of those patients who we were giving chemotherapy to probably didn't need it. But we couldn't really pick and choose who needed it and who didn't need it. Dr. Thomas Samuel, an oncologist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says genetic testing has changed all of that, becoming a big catalyst in the move away from blanketed chemotherapy. Specialists can now analyze tumors and see which patients might respond well to less toxic, targeted therapies. So what ends up happening is that there are some patients who are so low risk that those extended therapies, including hormonal therapies, you know, can be shortened because they have low-risk disease. Some patients, like Jennifer, are able to avoid systemic treatment altogether. Following surgery, she underwent a few weeks of radiation therapy and is excited about one day very soon starting a family. I'm feeling really good. I finished a few months ago, and um, I just got married, and things are going great. <laughs> And we wish her well. Targeted chemo-free therapies are proving effective not only for breast cancer patients, but lung cancer patients as well, reducing toxic side effects while at the very same time increasing survival rates.